one of the critical minerals is selenium. I guess they're all critical, aren't they? Well, they, they pretty much are. Let's face it, uh, the, the uh, minerals are uh, called uh, necessary in the diet the way vitamins are for a reason. Mm -hmm. uh, it just so happens that we tend to have more mineral deficiencies than actual vitamin deficiencies. Uh, you mentioned selenium. Selenium is a very, very important mineral when it comes to your body's uh, antioxidant system, fighting against free radicals, or mm -hmm. the term in medicine is reactive oxygen species. These are things that, you know, come in and do damage to your body's tissues and cause problems with your eyes, cause problems with your heart, cause problems with, uh, with cancers and things such as that. Your immune system. Yes, and uh, selenium is a great immunostimulant. In particular, selenium activates enzymes that are involved in detoxification or the elimination mm -hmm. of free radicals and things that cause free radicals. So selenium's important in that aspect. It's really, really key to detoxify. How much selenium do we need? Well, the typical intake should be for women about 55 micrograms and for men 70. But you can take upwards of 200 to 400 micrograms. 400 micrograms really is the level they're using in trying to treat people who have certain pathologies that are related to uh, free radical damage. Can you get too much selenium? Oh, yes. yes you can. You can. So but, how do you know? I mean, Well, here's the thing. As I mentioned, the, the safety factor is that you can take a lot, up to 400 micrograms. Mm -hmm. And if you take a look at the supplements that are on the market, no one has a supplement that has that oh. much. And in fact, there's been, in the whole history of medicine, one instance where they felt there was actually a selenium toxicity problem. And that turned out to be a manufacturing error where they, you know, made a mistake in production. And, you know, of course, that was before they had the great testing that they do today, and mm -hmm. uh, that was an accident. So you can see, if that's the only time anything ever happened, that selenium is pretty safe. Can you get selenium from your food? That's uh, difficult sometimes because is. selenium is uh, in the soil, and the soil in many areas is completely deficient in selenium. And if you don't have the selenium in the soil, you're not going to have it in your fruits and vegetables. And the animals that are graze on these mm -hmm. fruits and vegetables or grasses that are grown in these low selenium areas uh, will, of course, be deficient in selenium. You won't be getting your selenium in your food then. And uh, it's uh, a problem, in fact, uh, in Albion's uh, division, where we have mm -hmm. an animal division, a plant division, uh, we do soil analysis. And we know all over the country, not only in the United States, but in Canada, South America, and other parts of the world, what the typical soil problems are in those areas. And mm -hmm. so we know that there's a lot of selenium deficiency. You do know that? Yes. So it would be advisable to take some selenium? Absolutely. Well, thank you very much, Max. Sure.